it's really nice to be with you, Sadhguru. I wanted to know about Adiyogi, because I've learned and I studied some yoga for years, and I never heard about Adiyogi except from you. Oh, you thought Madonna invented yoga, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the word Adi Yogi means the first yogi. We don't know the exact time, but it's somewhere over fifteen thousand years ago. That much we know because of certain… Uh, certain relics we have found and certain things that have been said, certain astronomical uh, phases that they have talked about. Based on this we estimate it's over fifteen thousand years ago, we don't know the exact time. So the significance of Adi Yogi is this, for the first time, for the human beings, he said, if you are willing to strive, you can cross all the limitations that nature has set up for you. Only thing is if you are willing to strive. And above all, the most important thing of this is, he's the first one. I, I don't want to take the credit away from the English people. Uh, <laughs> Charles Darwin spoke about evolution about hundred and fifty years ago. You had a two hundred birth anniversary recently. So, uh, Adi Yogi spoke of evolutionary process over fifteen thousand years ago. He spoke in a different language. When they asked how life happened, what is its beginning, what is its end, when his disciples asked him, he said the first form of life was fish. Second form of life, he said, is a turtle of amphibious life. That means life is moving out of water, finding its way on the land. You… Indian people know about the nine avatars, hmm? The next one is uh, an animal, usually is called a wild boar because wild boar is supposed to be the most physical creature among the mammals. So he says, it's a wild boar. Next one is half man, half animal. Next one is a dwarfed man. Next one is a full-fledged man but emotionally volatile man. Next one is a peaceful man. Next one is a loving man. Next one is a meditative man. The next one which is yet to come is supposed to be a mystical man. That could be you because… <laughs> because if you pull out a small thing in your hand and start speaking to somebody in India or America, you're quite mystical. If you only… <laughs> yes. I'm saying if only you had a phone hundred years ago, you could claim your God and people would have believed it. <laughs> yes or no? So, he is not talking about individual people, he is talking about different stages of evolution. If you look at what Adi Yogi spoke, in many ways it runs absolutely parallel to what Charles Darwin spoke hundred and fifty years ago. So he spoke about evolution and he said, Till now evolution happened without your consent. Now you have the privilege to decide how far you want to evolve. This is the… he said, this is the most significant aspect of being human is this, that you decide your evolution. When you were a monkey… Uh, it's not my statement, it's Charles Darwin <laughs> <laughs> When you were a monkey, you did not decide, I want to become a human being. Nature just pushed you on for whatever reasons. But now that you're a human being, now you can decide what kind of a human being you want to be. This moment you can be like a brute, next moment you, you can be godlike. Both are possible for you right here. So he said the most significant dimension of being human is you determine your evolution. This is the only creature on the planet who has the freedom to do that. He said this is the most important thing and he gave one hundred and twelve methods through which a human being can evolve to their ultimate nature. So that's why Adiyogi.